Craig Lane, the founder of Health Alchemy, here to talk about another of the three minute miracles, although this one will be a bit longer. It's called the Five Tibetan Rites. The Five Tibetan Rites is something that I will go over in the next part. This is part one of two. In this part, I'll just be describing the procedure and why I do it and its benefits. It's basically five exercises that were developed by Tibetan monks many years ago to sustain their longevity. And I find, in my experience, after 15 years of doing it, that it helps me get stretched out, get my circulation going. It helps me feel better in my body. One of the things I've noticed that for all my clients and people that have seen me personally is that the one thing I can tell people is that my day goes a lot smoother if I start with some form of yoga and maybe meditation and some self-care. The day just seems to go a lot better. And I feel more in my body. I feel more unified in body, mind, and spirit. So my mind is sharper. My emotions feel more accessible. And I feel like I'm able to speak my truth more clearly to people. And really, that's the whole meaning of the word yoga. It means union or yoke. So it's a harness that keeps us within the realm of what we really are, so to speak, and what we really want to be in this life. So the five Tibetan rites are five exercises that are very simple. Anyone can do them. There are modifications, and if you go to my website, healthalchemy.com, under essential therapies and techniques, you can get a link to this and watch and look at the diagrams there for some modifications. The next part of this will be me doing the exercises only. So if you want more descriptions to it, go to my website, healthalchemy.com. The way Google is these days, you can Google the five Tibetan rites and you'll get all kinds of information. But what I'm going to do is just tell you, show you the variation that I do, and really it's about getting circulation because in my experience, most of us are stagnant in some way. Our lymph isn't moving properly. Our blood isn't circulating because of mucus and acids. Our mind and emotions get stuck, what I call spiritual emotional indigestion or constipation. That's when we were grieving for a long time about something or stewing on something in our mind for a long time. These kind of exercises get the stuff moving because the cure for all illness is circulation. Circulating your emotions, circulating your thoughts, keeping things moving and not being identified with any one thing. But, and the final thing I'll add once we go into part two is enjoy your life. I mean, it's so easy to forget just being in the moment. Like right now, I feel my feet on the ground and I'm actually enjoying myself filming this. You know, it's, there's a joy that comes naturally into just being in the moment. And it presents itself in a word in Sanskrit. The translation is uncaused joy. There's no cause for really this beingness that what we really are. So enjoy, and we'll go to part two in just a minute, and thank you very much.